vehicle. Covering Brevard County, where NASA's newest innovation could translate into jobs along the space coast, an area still recovering after the shuttle program shut down. Happening right now, the future of human space flight, the Orion capsule, rolling out to a launch pad at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Smith is talking about a new partnership with NASA and the Space Coast Economic Development Commission. The goal is to bring the space agency's resources to small and medium-sized manufacturing and technology-based companies. It's a pilot program, but it's a first of the kind where we at the agency level are partnering with a local economic development organization. So by 2020, SpaceX, Boeing, Blue Origin, and United Launch Alliance should all be launching people and cargo from the Cape. After some down years, things are now looking up. Some really big news on the Space Coast. Today, we're thrilled to be coming to the Sunshine State for a new era of exploration. But what better thing is there to do than work on getting humans back to lower orbit? And we're bringing American astronauts back onto American rockets. And it, you know, the whole team is extremely excited to be participating in that. We have every opportunity to be the global hub for business. Governor Rick Scott is in Brevard County for an event that's bringing jobs to the area. Yeah, he was at the ground breaking for a new technology manufacturing facility. Embraer has over 800 jobs already in the state, and my, my goal is we're going to continue to work with them and they continue to grow. But we made strategic investments to get jobs here. We made strategic investments to get jobs all across the state. The expansion of Northrop Grumman with a $500 million capital investment at Melbourne International Airport is being called one of the largest economic development deals in the country. A project like this, you can imagine how extremely sought after it could be. Northrop Grumman has sites in 30 different states. Not for one minute did we assume, because they have a history and a legacy here, they would be here. Big time players make big time plays in big time situations. And what it means is that when big time games, you got to step up. I think EDC, they made a big time play in helping us get here. It's an enormous day for the city of Melbourne and a game changer for, for us for the next 50 to 100 years. Today we have 3,000 people occupying more than 2 million square feet in 50 buildings. 